So Winnington in lane four, the 18-year-old Elijah Winnington from Bond University, the fastest qualifier, 349.45. He got away to a good start. Right alongside him is Clyde Lewis of lane five. And Jacob Hansford, lane one, top of the screen with the white cap, also started very well. Down the pool the first time in the final of the men's 400 free. Really important as they go through the turn here what you've got to do in 400 meters is set yourself up for the second half of it what you don't want to do is go out too fast so this should be a comfortable uh, fast it shouldn't be all out otherwise the lactic acid and all that kind of pain that comes with doing any of these events is going to set in too soon really is swimming well winnington his time at the 2018 pan pack trials here in adelaide in june of last year eighth fastest time in the last 14 months so swimming right at the top of his game the 18 year old mclaughlin tucked back in second spot not a great deal between them and it's been a very fast start it has been under world record pace at this stage uh it, it looks like he's out a little bit faster than what we expected but anything under world record uh it's it's time to get excited so at the 2018 Australian Championships, it was Horton first, McLaughlin second, and McKeon third. Obviously, two of those swimmers not here. He's out by a body length. He started swimming in a Learn to Swim program on the Gold Coast under Andrew Bailden. When he was nine, he moved to a competitive club under Kyle Samuelson and Richard Scarce, who still coaches him today. And as we've said, the Gold Coast locals studying at Bond University and out by just on a body length here. And still that time, very, very quick. He is, that world record uh, is very fast in the second end of it. There was a, a great backhand swim on this one, but he's still the same amount under the world record, almost a second under, 0.82. Jack McLaughlin should come through in the latter part of this race. He has a great background in distance swimming, uh, but where he is now, he's just passed a body length behind. It's going to be very difficult for him to catch up. Looks so comfortable, doesn't he? Elijah Whittington still under world record pace. That world record, of course, held by Paul Biederman in the super suit era back in July of 2009. Just shading Ian Thorpe's previous world mark all the way back from 2002, Thorpe. You'd have fond memories of it, I'm sure. 3.40.08. What what's fond at the moment is watching Elijah Whittington at this stage go through and going through as well as what he is just outside of the world record split um, this is a this is a great 400 freestyle so sun yang has the fastest time in the world over the last 14 15 months or so all of 2018 and what we've had so far in 2019 but gee right now that underwater shot this is a young man swimming very very well right on top of his game absolutely he's extended that lead by almost two body lengths over the last 100 metres. As he comes through the last 50 metres, just under two seconds outside of the world record, but this is going to be a brilliant swim. Let's check the time. 3.42.92 is the fastest time of the year by Sun Yang. Elijah Winnington was the 200 freestyle world junior record holder as well. He's tightening up a little bit here as we see him finish off, but this is going to be a great swim. So it must be encouraging. Wonderful, wonderful start tonight, one. Brilliant job, Elijah Winnington wins his first title.